Alleluia. 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 You woke up this morning. Oh, yes. Alleluia. Did you wake up this morning? Yes. Alleluia. No one forced you to come to church today. No. Alleluia. 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 So we're at a level right now that we woke up today. Yes. No one forced you to be here today. At all. And the praise is so low. Hallelujah. Your hallelujah is supposed to be the most high praise. Hallelujah. So hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's all right. We're going to get there. Hopefully. Yes. Giving honor to God who is the head of my life. To Queen Esther. To my APs. Teacher Rhonda and Mother Paulette. Yes. To Mother Angela. What's up? To Deacon Tony. Yes. To Teacher Nadia. Yes. To Teacher Hillary, the BCC. To Teacher Warrior Jewel. To Mother Corlett's mom. <laughs> to the youths. To the elders, yes. to the followers of Christ, the Christ in me greets the Christ in you. As I just did a roll call, yes. if you are not here, get here. I'm only the exalter, but for some reason, God has plans for me to speak to you today like this. If you are not here, get here. The fast, the topics that are during our fast, even before, is preparation. Queen talked about preparation and being enlisted last week. So your name is on the roster, so you must show up. Today's topic is theory versus practical. What is theory? Ideas, thoughts, observation that can be proven by confirming or denying through tests and in which there's a series of tests it can be proven to state facts that is a theory so the theory we're going to go with teaching overall it's the teaching, the education, the knowledge. Practical. What's practical? It's the action needed for application. And it's the execution needed to carry out. Many of us are so comfortable in learning the knowledge, reading the knowledge, speaking the knowledge, just to leave the knowledge. Why? <laughs> because the practical part is where we lose a lot of people. Why? Because that's our walk. So we lose a lot of people because we have to walk. Now in the direction that you must walk is forward. But if you choose to walk backwards, your theory is null and void. When we understand 
them separate, theory and practical, we're able to understand that we can't do the theory without the practical. We can't have the practical without having the theory. Because you can practice all day. Practical is a practice. It's an action. You must move. You must walk. But if you're afraid to walk, if you're disobedient to walk, if you want to do what you want while you're walking, that's on you. Why? Because let's say your teacher, our teacher, told you to go down the street and make a right. Why? Because God told her to tell us that. But here you are in the practical of your walk, because you decide how you want to walk. I know, it's something that you know, theory. I know my teacher said to walk down straight and make that right. But in my practical aspect, I'm going to walk forward. And I'm going to look right. But I'm going to continue to walk straight. Then boom, danger. Theory versus practical. For the practical aspect, can anyone be honest? You remember the things that you do most. You remember the things only that you put your hands on. How to ring the bell, teach taught us. All right, ring the bell, you walk up to the bell, you ring the bell three times, you ring the bell, how many other times that the Holy Spirit decides you to do so? You could talk about it all day, but until you physically grab hold of the item, of the landmark, then and only then will you remember what was taught? You're probably saying, what am I, where am I getting at? <clears throat> the teachings and the readings are not for just you to learn it. That's it. But it's for you to be taught to do what you have been taught. It's the doing aspect. We're going to get to the practical. The practical part is the most important part. I think we get so, I wrote in my, my book, it was just thoughts rolling out, I say, we get so used to saying things that we don't have to do. And I said, that's scarred Amen. tissue. Amen. Scarred tissue. Why? From young. I promise I'm going to do this for you. I promise we're going to go to Six Flags next week, Tuesday. Ooh, that's very specific. Okay. I promise when you reach 16, I'm going to buy you a car. But I'm 16 now. I don't have the car. Scar tissue. I'm getting older. I promise I'm going to show you the way. I got older. I don't even know where to go. You told me you was going to show me the way. You told me that. You promised that you will show me the way. I'm getting older. I'm moving forward. All these broken promises. Scarred tissue. The practical. We need to start doing the things that we say. It's so easy to talk. The hard part is the action. Hmm. Break the cycle. Break the cycle. Are we in class? <laughs> Are you paying attention? Yes. Are we in class? Are you paying attention? Yes. 
Are you present? Yes. Because I don't think we understand. When we're present in an environment and there's knowledge being poured out and you're not listening, unfortunately, you was a witness to the knowledge you have been taught. So now you're accountable. You're accountable. So whether you came and you sit out, oh, I'm, I'm crying. Oh, um, I didn't, I didn't get no juice this week. Oh, my Oreos overtook me. This what you worried about. But boom, in church. Songs are singing. God is here. There's so many words of encouragement that's going around, that's pouring in, in within ourselves. But we brought up. You're present, so you're accounted for. So you have to take accountability. That's on you. Start taking accountability for yourself. If you're gonna show up, if you're gonna show up, make sure you're accounted for and that you pay attention because God is going to come and ask you why are you praying for this when I listened to them give you the answer okay 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 theoretical knowledge I literally just heard them give you the answer why are you praying for this I'm not giving it to you so now when you think you're practicing praying for certain things or you think you know everything ah, until you start to do and take accountability like aha uh -huh, God I know I sat down in service I know I went to an event and I just sat down there but I'm I know that whatever food and reason why you caused me to be there and show up was a reason and a purpose and I'm sorry that I have missed what you were trying to tell me because I was so caught up and I did not take responsibility to be accounted for. Hmm. Then I go and ask, when was the last time you check on learning to see if the information that was taught or learned was retained? I can tell you when. Last week, Sunday, when you was writing on the same piece of paper, same notebook, or phone recording. I can tell you when. It just so happens to be we're fasting this week, so we're a little bit more in tune in the Bible. Okay. But what about the 365? One last, one last did you really check to see, listen, I'm getting all this information, all this knowledge, I'm on proof, read it. Queen always say, sometimes don't listen to what I'm saying, don't listen to what I'm telling you, go see for yourself. How would you know if you didn't open up your Bible? Go on Google. How would you know? Queen knows it. Do you know it? Teacher Rhonda knows it. But do you know it? Start checking on your learning. Because the more you check on your learning is the more you can do. You don't check on your learning, you can't do anything because you don't know how to. The theory is just for you to learn. It's the knowledge. The practical is to do what you've been taught, to do with the knowledge you've been given. That's it. And then I go on to say, after learning the lesson, have you applied it? Somebody was like, well, of course, yes. As soon as I learned about this, I was like, well, this and that and this. Okay, that was just for that one day. Did you make it a part of, a part of your lifestyle? It's easy to apply. Once, once you get to the stage of knowing that your theory 
must be practiced. You need to get to the stage of doing it. Not just to do it one time, but to do it constantly. It's a consistent thing. It's a constant thing. I encourage you today to remove yourself from where you're at, to rise up from the funk that you're in, to start being obedient to the call. Don't get caught up in saying, I've done wrong, but you did this. Take accountability. Say your part. Say your part. Do not let your knowledge go to waste. What you don't use, you will lose. Wow. What you do not use, you will lose. Do not be a follower of Christ who says they have the word hidden in their heart. And when it's time to speak and do a part, you say, well, um, no, I just only study. I only just, I'm no theologian. I, I just went to school for it, you know. I, you know, I just wanted to know from Genesis to Revelation. Be the doers that we are. It's not like we're not. We are doers. So start doing. And if you're doing already, do a little more. And if you're doing a little more, do the most that you can. Because God wants it all. Be doers. That's uh, all I have. Thank you.